Cheers. I'm sunburned. <laughs> and Jenny made cool purple stains from her hair. Doesn't come off. Oops. Oh, I can smell it. <laughs> Your hair. <Yeah. laughs> um, we're going to give a couple of, now that we're done with our race, and we kind of have matching swimsuits. Um, and our hot tub is lukewarm, right? Yes. And I've got some nice ch chaf chafing uh, and you're not saying anything because <laughs> you're good at it. And some nice <laughs> toe. Oh, Alexa, do you like that? Some nice toe problems. <laughs> um, what do you got, Danny? What's he gonna say? Oh, how come it looks like you were wearing sunglasses? I don't know. I don't know, but I wasn't. Not until today, but I was in the car. So funny. Um. So anyhow, we're gonna give a couple of like low lights and highlights from our race. Here's my feet. Oh, my I'm gonna hurt. lose at least three toenails. Oh yeah, she's got a slug. She's got a slug blister, and I have a. Oh, and I have an ugly there. And I have a scrotum blister. <laughs> that one. Um. So anyhow, I would say um, Danny's highlights, in my opinion, was that she got to take a nap. Oh yeah, that <laughs> felt great. I didn't think I was going to do that. <laughs> Show them how the people tried to wake you up. <laughs> they were waking me up because this lady wanted to ask me if I wanted to run with them. She was someone's pacer and she pulled me. The blanket off my face so slowly. <laughs> then they asked me, and I was like, oh no, I think I'll sleep. And then they slowly pulled it back up. <laughs> and I think it's really cool that even though Danny got a DNF, which means did not finish, but she still accomplished a lot. She got to 86.4 miles. But we were saying, well, Courtney DeWalter, which you probably don't know who she is, but she's like the champion of ultras. And she quit got a dnf at her ever first ultra at 60 miles so oh. danny beat her do you know why she quit she said she was like laying on the ground and like i just can't do this i don't know so she quit so i was hypothermic danny was hypothermic she like i was falling asleep while she yeah. was running and she was just like really shivery and i told her she should have called me to bring her clothes i thought about it that was I the was only gone, but good thing i thought about but i didn't want to wake her up i thought she was sleeping no i was <laughs> laying by the finish line waiting for her for hours but <laughs> this is how we learn things <laughs> live and learn and she also she could have dug in my drop dr dug dug yeah in my drop bags but they, they had already taken my drop bags, so she put in. Nope. Um, and, and Dixie was so nice, she left me salt pills and Gatorade. I did. And all that was bags, a, I always left her. A nice... Prizes, presents. And then it, yeah, it helped a lot. At mile um, nine, they had beer. <laughs> so I had, like, I don't know, half a can of PBR. And then on the way back at the same station, and it was when seven miles were left, so at mile 93... I saw the PBR sitting there and some fireball, but I was like, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> well, I can't do up. it. I threw up like a million times. Yeah, she kept like gagging <laughs> on the side of the trail and I was just like. Because I had these burps so that wouldn't come out. That happens a lot to me in long <laughs> Yeah, I was pretty grossed <laughs> out. But then I'm not going to say what it was because it's on a need to know basis. At mile 69, the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me happened to me <laughs> so <laughs> and i got to see it when Danny, i ran stop by. it <laughs> and, then, and so only those who like i really cherish close to my heart will get to know that story i saw lots of rabbits they were so cute and little Yep, lots of rabbits. I saw a meteor, my third one, in like the past year and a few months. And um, there weren't any clouds in the sky. There weren't. And there was the, a ton of wind. I didn't even use my headlamp from, well, I was running until two in the morning and I didn't even ever use my headlamp because the blue moon, not the blue moon, the moon is full, almost full. I think it's full tonight. So it was so bright, I didn't even have to use it. And I think my highlight was probably on the way back. Like, no one passed me. Everyone who had passed us earlier in the race, 
I passed on the way back, and I ended up getting eighth place. Dixie's really good. Which I was super excited about. I negative split, which means my second half was faster than my first half. Um, looking into it for like the future, I think I would start the race slower because Danny and I went pretty fast, like the first 20 or so miles. Um, and and then we slowed down quite a bit. So I think next time I would take shorter breaks, not watch Danny eat jelly beans and take naps, <laughs> and change her socks a million times. And eat lots and lots of mashed potatoes. And I, uh, so like, yeah, I guess if I were doing it on my own, I would take shorter breaks and I would um, yeah, start slower, but I think it was a good first experience. Everyone is super nice there. They're really nice. Everyone like would change your water pack for you and like get you anything you needed. They basically did everything for you except for wipe your butt, which was probably good. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I want to say that my watch said I had gone 80, 89.1 miles. That's oh. what I finished at. So I don't know what the deal with that was. Uh, yeah, and mine said I went 102, which was really annoying like you I didn't know when I was going to be done my watch at 100 miles and I thought I was supposed to be done and then it just kept going so but I kept running I did not walk once on the way back oh yeah and the wind it was a headwind and it was like I swear the gusts were like 50 miles yeah, an hour I looked at my frigid, watch, frigid though, cold and it said the wind was only seven miles per hour but that That's had to be right. wrong it was there was hardly any trees. It was just like yeah, it, the crazy trail is straight, the and the wind was coming straight down the yeah. trail, creating like a tunnel. Yeah, it was so cold. I didn't have enough stuff to survive. <laughs> Good thing I watched a million episodes of Naked and Afraid and Alone. Could you be naked and afraid? Um, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I could be naked and afraid, but I don't know if I'd survive. I don't think I would if it was cold. Well, maybe I could build a fire. I don't know what I would do. I'd eat some bunnies. Do you have blankets? Do they get blankets? No. Are they in cold weather? Sometimes, yes. Ooh. Oh, if they're in cold weather, they give them like animal weather. hides. Yeah, weather. Okay. Anything else? Um, Oh, we prayed every mile. Oh, yeah, we, we were did together. Every mile, yep. and we then, took turns. I was the even miles, she was the odd miles. And then when we. We did get kind of mad at each other for a little bit. <laughs> so then our prayers were short. <laughs> and I then, couldn't talk. <laughs> I was so tired. And then um, on the way back, even though we weren't together, I, I still did, but I forgot a lot. But I would say I still did it like I don't know six times a mile probably and I kept praying for Danny behind me did you pray out loud or yeah I did oh yep. nice I prayed in my head but not out loud I prayed out loud it made me oh and I kept thinking that I was with someone because my shadow <laughs> I kept thinking there was someone next to me it kind of made me feel a little better about being by myself in the dark in the wilderness oh and we heard coyotes yeah coyotes and um, frogs we saw cactus yeah, that was in crazy. Kansas. I looked for them the whole way back. In the dark? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was looking at the whole time. I wouldn't have been able to do that. Well, I had my headlamp on, so I was just, my head was like down to the side looking, and I think it was a good distraction for me. Um, so, ciao. Hopefully we do it again, I think. Well, think we do have another else. ultra in um, June, but it's a different style. I ultra. think this one will be more my style. Yeah. You get to take breaks so she can, you know, change her socks and eat jelly beans. <laughs> and I think if I do another hundred, well, I will do another hundred miler. I got to finish one. I am not going to train as much. <laughs> <laughs> and if you made it this far, give us the keyword, which is on the count of three. One, two. Wait, what? <laughs> I know. <laughs> we don't know what I'm going to say. We're going to say. Oh, okay. One, two, three. 51.25 miles of sister smiles. <laughs>